Welcome to Tabletop Tactics. Coming up in today's battle. Welcome back, Freeview team, to another Age of Sigma battle report with myself, the Dino Chef. <laughs> I will bake up some uh, dinosaur-shaped cookies for, oh, for you all. Please do. Yeah. That will make me so happy. It's like you know what were they called? Like the little Dino bites. They were like potato, but like they were shaped like dinosaurs. Oh, uh, I, were they potato? They might have been turkey. They might have been because I know I have corn. Dino nuggies, yeah. which are vegan dino nuggies. Dino which make nuggies. Me very wow. happy. Wow. Yeah. What? Yeah. You do like a little volcano of mashed potato and baked beans spilling out. You have yeah. a volcano and then dinos. Yeah. It's the end of their era. It's very sad. Yeah. But not for the Seraphon, because we have traversed the stars and time itself to arrive in the mortal realms to continue the great plan of destroy the demon and the chaos. And I don't like it. Please. I just wanted to come here and have a good time. I'm bringing my Slanesh girls, mm. and I wanted to play with the dinosaurs, because dinosaurs are cool. I mean, Why can't true. we just be friends? Uh, because you are a manifestation of pure evil uh, that we have been trying to stop for many, many millennia. And look, you, you can't be trusted. I'm looking at this village now, and it's already been destroyed. I, You're having a tantrum because you can play with dinosaurs. Yes, maybe. Okay. Let's can see. I play with dinosaurs now? In a moment, yes. Okay. Before we get into that and the lists, if you are joining us on our journey into the mortal realms, welcome! If you don't know what's going on in Sigmar, welcome! <laughs> You're in good company. Um, but uh, we have plenty of Age of Sigmar games over on demand as well, so make sure you go over and check those out if you would be so kind. Without your support over there, we couldn't do this! But whilst you are here on Freeview, hit like, hit subscribe if you have not done so already. Do a little comment below. Give us some advice on what we might be doing right, what we might be doing wrong, but please be kind, we're still new to this. But you know what I'm not new to? Murdering the demon. Oh. <laughs> Demons on my planet, it's more likely than you think. And I don't like them. The great plan says no demons and they persist in following me from old world to mortal realms. It's very sad. So the Seraphon are here to destroy the demon uh, with extreme scaly prejudice. Yes. So we're running a coalesced army today. It is Thunder Lizards uh, because giant dinosaurs. Obvs. Uh, leading it up, uh, we have a uh, Scar Veteran on Carnosaur. Uh, no Slan today is my general. I thought I'd try something a little bit different. Um, so he is running around. Uh, because it is a Thunder Lizard, he, and he is my general, he must have the Prime War Beast command trait, which gives plus one attack to all of his dinosaur attacks. Which is great, given that he is a T-Rex. So, he's an even more murderous T-Rex. Uh, he also bears the Fussel of Conflagration Artifact of Bower, because he must. Um, and we've also given him the Beastmaster um, mount trait, because it's the only mount trait I have access to. So, he is a T-Rex that is super duper scary and buffed up to his, I was going to say gills, but he's not a fish. So, his lizard ear holes. Sure. Uh, he is going to be accompanied by a Troglodon, Skink Oracle on Troglodon. Um, now, we do have a Warlord Battalion in here, as well as a Core Battalion Battle Regiment. Yes, that one. They're Core Battalions, it's Battle Regiment. Look, I'm still trying to wrap my head around 85 different game systems and armies at once, guys. I'm trying my best here. Okay. The Troglodon uh, does, as a result of that, bear the Cloak of Feathers, which makes him minus one to hit all the time, which is very nice. Gives him plus four movement and also makes him fly. So he is a um, archaeologically accurate dinosaur in that he has feathers. He may or may not be able to fly, depends on hollow bones, but this is magic land, so that's what's going to happen. Supporting them is a skink priest and a skink star priest, 
The star priest is confusingly a wizard, whilst the priest is indeed actually a priest. We then have a 15 temple guard. No, they don't have a slanter guard, but they're still probably the better combat unit that I have access to. Um, bear in mind, this is my personal Seraphon army, guys. It is relatively small, um, so it is fairly limited in what I can do. Um, so I need a nice big nasty hammer stroke halberd, um, which is what they are going to be. Backing them up just to sort of as, as add a little bit more of a defensive backline unit is a unit of 10 Soros Warriors. We also have a unit of 10 Skinks with Bolt Spitters and Shields. And finally we have a Stegodon with Sunfire Throws because what's cooler than dinosaurs riding a dinosaur? If you answered it's dinosaurs riding a dinosaur that is equipped with twin flamethrowers, then you would be correct. Weirdly, this is 1500 points on the nose, which means that I win. I don't get a triumph, but I win. Time once more for the great and mighty Slanesh to grace the field of battle against the dinosaurs and it's going to be really fun. It is an invaders host today and I'm running Lurid Haze because I finally figured out how it works and it adds a load of extra cool rules that I get to use so I thought why not. As a result it is a warlord battalion because I have three generals which is pretty cool but my head general, the captain general, top general is a blade bringer on exalted chariot and you're going to see a bit of a theme here because i thought the chariots were really cool in the last game and so i wanted to bring more so the primary general does have the lurid haze command trait and artifact of power the feverish anticipation and the oil of exaltation which sounds very cool and i do have two seeker chariots blade blade bringer on seeker chariots one of them I have granted an extra relic, which is the fallacious gift, because haha, you want to wound me, chef, with your shooty dinos? No, 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 you also wound yourself. That's how we're going to play today. They are being supported by a squad of 20 demonettes, because we don't have a lot of options when it comes to troops, and two units of bliss barb archers. Just two units of 11, because that's all we have. Finally, I do also have two units of five seekers they're I'm having a little seeker party in case you couldn't tell everyone's invited including the dinos so why not we'll have a nice time and of course i do have the fane of Slanesh in there because it makes my summoning work it is not quite 1500 points but it is 1455 so it's probably around here let's go with that and i do get a triumph which i'll mention when it comes up in game but let's get to the mission Today's battle plan is Rising Power, a match play battle plan from the Contest of Generals Battle Pack. Five predetermined objective markers are placed onto the battlefield. At the start of each battle round, after determining which player will take first turn, the player taking the second turn must roll the dice. The objective corresponding to the dice roll counts as two objectives when scoring victory points in that battle round. Each player scores victory points at the end of each of their turns as follows. Score one victory point if you control at least one objective, Score one victory point if you control two or more objectives. Score one victory point if you control more objectives than your opponent. And score two victory points if you complete the battle tactic you picked that turn. Each player also scores three victory points at the end of the battle if they completed their grand strategy. Behold, dinosaurs. And... Demons? Deep. The demons. Demonets. Demon and yes. dinosaurs. Da yes. Yes. It works, kind yes. of. Yes. Uh, so, uh, I have arrived uh, once again too late <laughs> to save the villagers. I am literally the worst hero <laughs> in the mortal realms. But never mind. I'll, uh, if, I can't, if I can't save the world, I'll be sure as hell to avenge it. Because I'm actually Tony Stark. You personally? Me personally. Or do you have a dinosaur that is going to pull out some Oh man, I really wish that I had an Iron Man. <laughs> Look, you know what? I'm surprised there isn't like an Iron Man equivalent in, yes, in, in the setting be. because uh, Age of Sigma will just, it just be like that. <laughs> so uh, we have deployed. Uh, I did finish deploying first um, because uh, I had less drops. 
which means I get priority. Yes. So I'm going to choose to go first. Uh, just before we do, um, we both have the same grand strategy. Yes, we do. Hold the line. Mm. Um, because you've got... What, what? What is battle line in your army? Do you have anything... Demonettes and the archers. Are the Seekers battle line in this particular host? No. Okay, so my so 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 hold the line is we need to have uh, no enemy battle line and at least one of our battle line alive. So at so, the end of the battle, either um, way. Yes, my battle line is little skinkers, the temple guard, the Saurus warriors, and a triceratops. That's battle line. It is because I'm thunder lizards. What? <laughs> That's so ridiculous. Dinosaurs. Why? Well, I do have a pre-game thing. Oh well, yes. Pre pre first turn. Yes. I need to remo remove. D3 of my units. You don't have to. I am going to remove three of my units. Okay. And then set them back up at a later time. In your time. As yet undetermined. I understand. We don't know when. Excuse me. A new challenger has arrived. I forgot to put my feign of slash down. Oopsie. So um, it's down here now. I forgot to put my pyramid down. If I had one. But I don't, Fletcher. It's your, all your fault. That's Too busy it. painting, I don't know, like Leagues of Votan or something. Okay. I know, right? And I've also removed my three units. Yeah, what did you remove? Um, I removed both units of archers and the unit of um, seekers. Seekers? Down here. Okay, so this is your lurid haze ability. Yes. So you, uh, they arrive. At the end of my first movement phase. End of your first movement, nine inches away from me, six, six inches, inches, wholly within six of a board edge. That's the one. Cool. Okay, very good. Well, we've generated CP, and now there's time for the admin stage, which is what you must learn to do when you're doing Seraphon. So first <laughs> of all, I'm going to change my constellation to that of the Sage's Staff. Um, so basically, uh, a starlight moves across the battlefield, shines a beacon down upon my star priest here, giving him plus one to cast and deny for this turn, which is pretty cool. In addition, he is an astral... I think it's Astral Foresight. On a 5-up, I gain another CP. No, no never CP mind. For you. Uh, and then it's Heroic Action time. So uh, he is going to try and do a Heroic Action for Heroic Leadership to gain a CP that only he can use this turn. Does not. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to attempt to do the same on my Exalted Chariot. No. no. Okay. But you do get the extra CP for going second. Yes, I do. I now have prayers and other abilities to do. So let me have a ponder. We will continue with the staff of the... Oh, the staff? Blah, 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 blah. We will continue <laughs> with the skink star priest using his serpent staff upon my temple guard, giving them... Um, so this just goes off. It's mm -hmm. just an ability. A unit wholly within 12. Uh, six is to wound. Do a mortal wound in addition. Okay. Which is cool. That's fine. They're also a wizard, Harry. So they're going to be casting Mystic Shield upon my Temple Guard to give them plus one save. With a plus one, that is a 12, which means I, it goes off and you can't I deny it. I can't deny it, it so I'm not even going to try. Yeah. The Sage's Staff bears down upon me and goes, ah. But you're going to fail your next power because of that. Maybe. I'm manifesting it. Next up, my Priest. Not to be confused with the Star Priest, because this is a priest that's an actual priest. Yes, okay. Yes. Not confusing in the slightest. Not at all. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to cast, cast, we're going to chant Bless upon my um, Scarvet on Carnosaur. So this will go off, on, normally it goes off on a 4+, plus, but because I'm within range, because of my primeval domain as a coalesced army, I get plus 1 to cast because I'm within an inch of mystical terrain. So it does go off. So he nice. has a 6-up ward save. We're then going to use my Starstone Staff, Star, 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 star. Uh, upon my troglodon. This isn't a prayer as such. It's just an ability on their sheet. It doesn't say to prayer or to chant. So fine. It just goes off on a free plus. I don't get any bonuses here. Upon my troglodon to give them plus one save. Run, shoot, and charge. Doesn't go off, but because it's not a prayer, I don't get smoten by the star gods. It's all very confusing. Final bit in the hero phase uh, is going to be the Troglodon. Now, the Troglodon does have the ability to cast Comet's Call, which yeah. against most armies is hilarious because I get to yeet down a bunch of meteorites on you. But that will give you depravity points and therefore allow you to summon a greater demon, which I really don't want at this stage. So uh, instead, I'm going to cast Hand of Glory. Why won't upon... you throw Comet's at me, Chef? Because I don't want you to have a... I don't want them to be caught by a greater demon. Um, so I'm going to cast Hand of Glory upon my uh, Saurus Guard to give them reroll ones to hit. Uh, with a plus one, it does go off because they have a built-in okay, plus one. Okay, well, I will attempt to deny it with my Why not? Seeker. 
chariot. Uh, it is indeed denied. Yay! I did something. Well done Here you. we go. That is my hero phase done. Let me do some movement. We will begin the movement phase with the Oracle. The Troglodon moves forward here in order to maintain my buffs from my uh, primeval domain, but also to throw noxious spittle at you, which is gross. A run with the Temple Guard. I did roll a five, which is very nice, but I'm only moving up to here because I was remiss in stating what my battle tactic was, which was seize the center because we're still playing the contest of general's battle plan which means that we are using those battle tactics and strategies not the ones from the general's handbook because um, we don't want to confuse ourselves whilst we're still learning the priest star priest driver is just going to waddle up here just to maintain you not coming on my back lines stegodon is just going to move alongside to provide them with some protection oh uh, they run? oh yeah that's nice the unit of warriors are just going to do a little shuffle, taking some of the flock with them. The skinks are just doing a uh, shuffle. The skink shuffle, some might say. Uh, again, just in order to fan out and protect my flanks. The priest is just going to shuffle round to here, and the carnosaur is just going to turn sideways to provide protection and maybe act as a counter charge to any sneaky, sneaky headed knight. That is my movement phase, and we have one little bit of shooting to do. Yes. And it is the noxious spittle from my troglodon. <laughs> yeah. Just a little blip. Um, you also have something that you need to do? Yes, um, I have Felicia's Gift, which I essentially choose one of your hero models. I pick a weapon that they have, and each time you successfully wound, or you, you, take, a, you take a mortal wound if you wound with it that turn. Right. Yes. So a, a <laughs> lizard man was uh, chilling one yes. day and a demon came along and said, yes. would you like this sword? And I went, oh yeah, this seems like a great idea. Mm. Never trust demons, kids. Never trust a demon. Right. Noxious Spittle into the Seekers over there. It is yes. D3 attacks. It is just the one. I hit on freeze. Mm. I missed. That is the end of my turn. Great success for me. <laughs> great. Uh, <laughs> so uh, I have picked up... Um, Points. Points, yes. I've completed my battle tactic for Seize the Center, and I'm holding one, two, three objectives, um, which is more than you. So I'm holding one, holding two, holding more. Yes. Um, one other thing works. that we did forget to do, because we are playing Rising Power, and because you went second in this battle round, you need to roll a d6, because that will determine if any of these objectives are worth double for this battle round. A two, which is the middle one. Okay. It's not double points, it's worth two objectives. So I'm technically hey, holding see. one, two, three, four Very at nice. the moment. But of course, you could just move your demonets down and go, I'll hold it instead. And now I'm holding, yeah. Big you, surprise, you, that you, might happen. You get it? You yes. get it, everyone? Very good. We're now in my hero phase. Mm. I don't have as much to do as you did. It's not as admin heavy as no. the Star Lizards. Well, we're not here to ha ha admin. We're here to have a good time. It's like you're the office staff and I'm the one enjoying the Christmas party, I guess. Anyway, I'm going to attempt to do the heroic action to get an extra command point for sure. my thing to use. No. No, not on a two. I'm going to try the same thing with my star priest. Okay. No, no. It's weirdly the same. <laughs> and the same as last time yes. as well. This is very strange. <laughs> right. I do have some spells to cast. Mm. Um, Mystic Shield on my Exalted Chariot. It is cast. That's on an eight. I'm going to attempt to deny you. Yes. With my priest it's... of priestliness. Yes. So you the cast priest it on... that isn't a priest? The priest that's a star priest. But not an actual priest. It, look, if they'd have just said wizard lizard, I'm just going to call him a wizard cast lizard. Cast it on an eight. An eight. Right. Well, I do get plus one to deny. Dispel. Doesn't matter. No. And then... Unbind. Arcane Thunderbolt on the Seeker Chariot. Arcane Thunderbolt? Do you mean Arcane Bolt? Yes. I mean, again, Arcane Thunderbolt sounds, sounds pretty better. sweet. Sounds better. That's on a seven. seven. I'm going to attempt to deny you with my troglomodon. Again, getting plus one because he is an oracle of the slan. He's a cool dinosaur. Uh, that is denied. No arcane thunderbolt. Fine, but I am defended. Yes. I've run with my demonets and I did roll a mighty six. So they're coming to say hi to the dinosaurs. I might redeploy. I'll have a think. No. I am going to redeploy. So let me redeploy. Only two. That's fine. Let me move him. The Seekers are moving their chariot forward. So graceful. <laughs> I managed to run an extra five inches with my Seekers, but they're just going to move up onto the objective. Maybe a little bit into the terrain, because why not? 
Oh no, but terrain is deadly. Oh no, I don't know what to do. And then the Seeker Chariot is also just moving up to make sure I'm on that objective, so I'm holding it. And my Exalted Chariot is just gonna move up behind the Demonets. My unit of Seekers has been brought back on in Chef's back edge. The first unit of archers have arrived, re-arrived, returned. And the second unit is going to pop in just behind them. Well, that's the end of your movement, is yes. it? Yes. Okay, well, you've unfortunately entered my primeval domain. Oh, that's fine. Um, so I've got some dead... I know, right? Uh, so I've got some deadly things to do. So I'm just going to do... Normally you do these after they finish a movement, but I'm just going to do this All in now one day. because it's simpler, right? So um, we'll work our way along. This Seeker Chariot on a one, because they're within an inch of my deadly terrain. No. no. They are just out of an inch, so that's fine. The Seekers. No. So close every time. <laughs> the rear unit of archers. No. And then the front unit of archers. No. Okay, no deadly for you, therefore no depravity, so kind of Pretty swings sad. and roundabouts, really. We're going to start my shooting mm. with my archers. Um, I've got six of these girls at the back are mm. going to shoot your troglodon. My troglodon? And then the other four are going to shoot at your skinks. My skinks? Yes, the high tempt is going into the skinks, so I'll get an extra shot against them. But I'm minus one to hit your... Yeah, because of my troglodon. cloak of flevers. That's fine. Cloak of flevers? My coke of flevers. Yes. It's going very well. I am plus one to wound you, though, because I've got my homunculus. That's fine. So I'm hitting your fives. Wow. Okay, not bad. That's okay. Three hits. Okay. Wound you on threes. threes because of the homunculus. Two wounds, minus one range. Minus one. So five up saves. Damage. Uh, just the one. Award save from the primeval domain. Damn it. Hey, I did a wound. And then into the skinks. No, be hitting on fours because I assume they don't have a minus one. No, they don't. That's It's a good job I don't get exploding sixes in shooting. Yes. yes. Terrifying. Three. Well, that makes up for it. Okay. Only three, minus one rend. So six up saves here, and then six up ward. No, once again, <laughs> my ward saves, I feel, will be like this for the duration. Well, I don't really want to kill the skinks, so I'm just going to put five of the other squad into them, and then the other five into the chocolate. Okay. I'm going to start into the skinks. Hmm. That's good. You might kill them. I, I don't want to. No, I don't think you can. You could. Yeah, no, you can't. That's fine. That's okay. I only wound you four times. All right. Six is followed by sixes. I do save one with my star buckler. You star buckler? Is that like swashbuckling? Yeah. No, <laughs> star buckler. It's a star buckler, so three more <laughs> arse slain. Okay, and then into the troggler. Oh, I dropped a dice. Uh, I'll just reroll one of the fails. Sure. Cool. Four hits. Hey, look at me go. Two wound. windows. Five up save. And six up ward. No, another no wound. ward for you. Fine. Charge phase, and we're going to start with the Seekers in Tiosaurus, boys. Sure. See if they can do the job. No, no not like to, that. Okay, spend a command point. Commanding them to... Oh, yes, only yes, just. they are in. But okay. Okay. And the deep nets hmm. into the other Saurus, boys. Well, with an 11, yes, most definitely, I'll see where they go. I'm going to attempt a tenant charge with the Seeker Chariot into the Sauruses. Why, why not? not? No. no. Okay. Well, that's my charge I mean, phase. to be fair, better that than them failing. Oh, yeah. That would have been very sad. No more charges? Uh, let me have a think. End of the charge phase. There's no monstrous things to do, but I do have deadly to do. Hmm. So it turns out this tower actually falls on you. No, it doesn't. <laughs> and these trees, it was actually... Uh, Liberous trees. Yes, it was the Whomping Willow. It's not. Oh. Damn it. Fine. All my cool rules on sixes and ones, and I can't roll them for toffee. No cool rules for you. Fighting. Mm. I'm going to start with the demonettes. I understand. I'm plowed in. Yeah. Yeah. You remain in my dining Stegosaurus. Stegosaurus. Stegosaurus in my face. Stegodon. Yeah. Stegodon. I was close. I mean, to be fair, it's probably an okay move to do because it stops him from walking off yeah. elsewhere, charging something, yeah. doing impact hits. Yeah. In any case, I've got 19 in range of your Saurus boys. 19 attacks, not 19, 19 models. 19 attacks okay. in range. I was going to say, Sorry, wait, wait yes. a minute. 19 attacks. There are eight in range, but one of them okay. is the... Leader, who has extra attack, yes, the one. Very good. Who has the extra attack? Um, I will be using all out attack here, so plus one to hit. I will not be using any uh, okay. command abilities. And because I'm a healthy squad of 20, any sixes do two additional hits. Yeah, weirdly, I really wanted the Whomping Willow to kick in there. It would have given yeah. you a depravity, but it would have denied you triple exploding sixes, but never mind. Well, we'll see how many sixes I do wrong. Hmm. Quite a oh, couple. Oh, that's a few. 
quite a few. Yes. That's a very good roll. That is. Maybe um, I should have okay, done so defense. one, two, three, four, five. So that's ten more. Ten more. Yes. Four, five, six. Because it's two additional hits. Seven, eight, Each nine, hit yes. becomes three. Yes, so, so I have four more. more attacks then. Four more hits than I had attacks. It's a full house plus. Yes. Falls to wound you. Okay, that's, that's pretty a good. good. Wounding. Oh, All right. Okay, um, that's a number and a half. Mm. Um, so two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. At minus one rend, please. Ouch. Okay. Uh, well, I do have Mystic Shield up. Yes. So that is a um, free up save in total because mm -hmm. I got four up base. Yes. So four up saves because of your rend. Yes. Hi up. That is not a good mm. roll. Uh, okay. Uh, actually, no, that's about right. Okay. Actually, that's better than average. It's one better. So it looks... I always do this, everyone. Look I look at it ones. and I go... I look at the low numbers and go, oh, no, it's... And then I look at the rest of it and go, it's not that bad. I do have a six-up ward. Hey, it kicks in. Um, so that's one dead, because these are two wounds a pop. Two dead, three dead temple guard. Arr. The Saurus Warriors have piled in to your... Um, Seekers, yes, um, and they will be attacking you with your with my with your Celestite, with my Celestite <laughs> War clubs. I mean, I'll take the club if you want to give it to me. No, do you want to do anything though? No, I'm happy. You don't want to do all out defense. No, you can't do it on them. You've already given them all. Oh out yes, attack. I have. Yes, I will be using. Because you, your you. CP are going otherwise. Yes, they're going. Yes. Thank you for for being a very good friend. Celestite clubs. I hit you twice. Okay. Do I wound you? I wound you twice at minus one. Minus one, so I'll so go back to my five up. Your normal save. Okay, one damage. One damage. And then my ferocious bites. I get lots of these because I'm coalesced. Uh, I do hit you on five, so that's not shabby. That's okay. And then wounding on fours, for they are powerful jaws. They go chomp. Yeah. Chomp, chomp. Two chomps, chomp. no rend. So four Two chomps, saves. no rend. Chomp, chomp. No. No biting. Okay. No. So I'm all alive. Yes. But I am a little bit wounded. Which is unfortunate Ow, yes. for depravity, yes. I would have liked to have killed one at least, but never mind. I'll hit you with my Seekers now, then. Mm. I'm going to start with my Piercing Claws. Okay. Yes. I'm doing all-out defence upon them from their own chat. I understand. So I'm hitting you on threes. Yes. Yes. Okay. No sixes, though. No. Fours to wound you. Yes. Three wounds. Minus Three. one. So back to my four-up saves. Mm -hmm. Two go through. Uh, damage? Just the one. Okay, so six up wards. Ooh. Note that is two slain because they are only one wounded model. Okay, okay, and then I've got the, my poisoned tongue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten attacks. Mm -hmm. Again, it's threes and fours. Do sixes explode on everything? Because I thought it was if it was a unit of ten or more. I don't know. You'll have Let to check Let me just quickly that. check. We'll do it now. Because I know that there's one of the hosts is reroll ones to hit if you have ten or more models. Mm -hmm. But I think the sixes explode is a general thing because your keepers get it. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah that's cool. So I'm. Um, three extra I've hits. I've got three extra hits. That's nice. Cool. Fours. Mm. No rend here, so just the one. Okay. So three up save. <laughs> right. Six <laughs> up ward. No. <laughs> Another one is dead. Fine. Temple guard time. We've got nine of them able to attack, one of which is indeed the champ. Yes. I can't remember his actual name. Is the champ going to chomp? They That's all that chomp. I care about. So we've got the Celestite pole arms, mm -hmm. and we've also got my Ferocious Bites. So I'm going to use uh, Saurian Savagery from as a, my command ability for my last CP from my uh, general here, the Scarvet, mm -hmm. giving them exploding sixes. Because two can play at this game, okay. young KD! Still my rules. And remember that they are still buffed up with the Serpent Star, so sixes to wound to do a mortal yes. wound. So, Celestite pole arms. Oh, that's 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 terrible. It's a shame I didn't get those reroll one yes. that reroll one ability off um, because there was quite a few there. Um, only the one six. That's fine. fine. Still, actually, a very good roll. Again, I, I do this all the time. I will not apologise for my personality and who I am as a person because if you start apologising for who you are, you don't love yourself. And if you don't love yourself, how the hell is anyone else going to love you? Freeze to wound you. Looking for a lot of sixes. We've got. You okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just taking that in for a moment. It's very. Right. Um... It, we're not just about tactics. We're about uh, uh, life tactics as well. <laughs> yes. uh, right. Wow. <laughs> now be prepared. The chef is going to start his own channel. No, and I'm not. All right. around. There's enough of that advice. nonsense out there. Philosophy right? and tactics with chef. Yes. Uh, so that's nine <laughs> saves at minus one and two mortal wounds in addition. 
five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine. Yes. Sixes. Yes. I lose nine. Pass another two from Mortal Wounds. I lose eleven. And now it's time to chomp you. Here we go. These, oh, oh that was very violent. I apologise. I'll re-roll that over one. Here. Uh, okay. Good, because there was a five over here and you attacked me with it, so you don't deserve it. Uh, okay, so I get three hits there because of my explodes. Mm -hmm. uh, then it will be forced to wound here. So one wound, no mortals here. Five up. Loves it. Okay, so hey. I have killed eleven. Mm, ouchies. But that is that done. Battle shock. You, no, my Stegodon gets to attack. No, no, he doesn't. That's fine. It kind of works. It's both against and in yes. my favor. I could have started with a Stegodon to attack, but then I would have had less Temple Guard, and then you could have just stayed in combat, stopping him from moving off and doing other things, but we still have priority to roll for. I'm taking a gamble, okay? That's what you got to do. But there is Battleshock to do. Yes, I'm going to auto-pass with my team units. I understand. Um, Battleshock for my Saurus Warriors and my Temple Guard. They're both failing on sixes, so Saurus Warriors. Nope. Temple Guard. They're fine. Okay, very nice. My skinks are bravery five and they've lost seven. So that is one left. That's good, because that means I get my depravity. I know, that's a bit annoying actually, but never mind. Um, fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um, there's, that... still, there's still one too many there, Mr. Chef. Yeah, there are still two there. Oh, he was hidden. Yeah. Hidden sneaky. from your sights. His sneaky. sneaky little um, skink. Wait, hang on. No. He's the... Bravery five, I've lost seven, I rolled a two, so that's nine, so that's four run away. Yes. How many did I remove? Three. So they are all dead. But, oh. No, because you just removed three, and, you removed, ha and you've taken one yeah, from your hand. You've got one in your hand. I can't math. No. Mm. I don't know why we I lost six, on you to math. I rolled a two, that's a total of eight. I then take away my bravery of five, that's three, there was four models left, there is indeed one model left alive. Maths is hard. I'm trying to do a million and one things in once up here. It's very difficult for my life. Okay. Do you know what's easy though? I've got six depravity points. I can count that. You don't need any more then, because that's Slanesh's magic number. I'd like double that and then I can bring on a keeper. I and don't. then Slanesh is doubly happy. No. Yes. Uh, okay, cool. That is that. There's nothing else to do. No. Um, so we'll remove all your depravity and stuff in a moment. But what we do need to do is roll for priority. Who gets the choice of who goes first in battle round DOS? A three. Well, I rolled a three. Okay. Well, I rolled a five, so yes. I'll take that okay, because fine. I can do with that, please. Sure. No summoning for you. No. Battle round two, turn two for the Seraphon. Yes. Um, yes, we've gained our CP. Battle tactic will be... I can't... I guess repel. Yeah, I'm going to repel those okay. units. I need to kill them because they're in my territory. Yes. And that seems something that I can do. Um, we're also going to do uh, the Astral Foresight from my Star Priest, my Wizard Lizard. Uh, no, not quite. I need a five to get that CP, but that's fine. Uh, we're also going to do heroic leadership as a heroic action on my Carnosaur. Again, a, a two. two. Very strange. Do you know what? Let's see, if, let's see if the theme can continue with her. Okay. Doing the same. No. No, you, I actually you get, get a CP. It. Yeah. That's frustrating. I could have done with an extra CP there. I did drop a dice in the tray though, and it was a two. After the fact. Look, it's all a bit weird. Um, and we're also going to do this to the constellations. We're going to go, huh, where's the dragon? Give me the dragon. <laughs> there he is, right. The, the great drake. So I'm going to beam that down upon my Scarvet on Carnosaur. Mm -hmm. So he gets plus one attack on all of his bits. Every okay. every single attack okay. gets more, which could come and hurt me with your, your, your gift of nonsense, but that's fine. Never take weapons from demons. I know, right? It's, it's a terrible mistake. Got a few other things to do, so let me just ponder what I'm going to do in what order. We will begin the, the actual stuff of the hero phase with my troglodon. They're going to cast uh, a power, but first of all, they regenerate. On a two plus, I heal D3 wounds. Yes, I heal one of the wounds. That, oh, this is typical, isn't it? I can't even remove the dice. No, you've got to keep it there. 
know. Acknowledgement of your shame from being damaged by me. And we're also going to do Hand of Glory upon my Carnosaur. Uh, that does not go off, I but don't five? think. It does get a plus one. Let me check. I mean, I can my attempt to deny it. If celestial that you feel Tome. Well, it doesn't matter. Regardless. I know, but now I need to know okay. because I'm that kind of a person. Well, that's. No, it's casting value six. So that's okay. Fine. Okay, very well. Um, whilst we're here on this side of the battlefield, we are going to come down to my skink priest. The actual priest. The priest. Yes. Uh, they are going to do... Um, oh, what's it called? Um, their uh, star, stone, star, stone staff. The star, stone staff upon my troglodon. <laughs> okay. Yes. Uh, no, no, but again, this isn't a ability. prayer. It's just an ability, so I don't get okay. smoten. Probably for the best. Fine. And then we're going to cast Bless upon my Carnus. No, on the troglodon to give them a six-up ward save away from the it, look just trust me yeah that one yes. goes off okay fine. super blessed See, bless hashtag blessed. troglodon troglodon blessing yes bye chef the star priest the wizard lizard um the serpent staff on the temple guard for yes. mortal wounds of course and then we're going to cast mystic shield uh with a six this time i will no attempt pluses. no denied so no magic for me that's fine we are now in the movement phase, nothing else to do, nothing else to declare that I want to anyway. So we will begin with the Stegodon. You do have enough movement, I have measured it. Round to here. I'm going to use my Exalted Chariot's command point to redeploy. I understand. I'm going to go... Off the board. <laughs> off the board. She's so speedy. Yes, she is. She's gonna go, well, where's she gonna go? Oh, well, that's for me to know when you'd find out. The Troglodon, thanks to the Cloak of Feathers, has a 14 inch move with fly, incidentally. So if I had have gotten the priest ability off, I was gonna run and jump over to here, but I don't have enough movement to not land within three inches of the demon nest. So I'll just go and eat some uh, head knights instead. The Carnosaur, the T-Rex, yes, murder! The priest ran a mighty five, putting him up to here. And we're also just going to move the star priest as well, just round here, just to ensure that we are within range of the temple guard for safety for lookout sir, as well as um, being in range of the trees for my ward saves. This skink here is actually going to run um, a free. So that is an 11 inch move, because remember that I do have um, keep some battle line alive. So I'm going to run him behind this building to safety for as long as he can skinkingly possible. It is the shooting phase. My Saurus uh, are remaining in combat, um, so that's fine. We will begin with the Sunfire Throwers and the Meteoric Javelins from the Stegodon into this unit of demons. My demonettes! Because even though they're in combat, I'm allowed to shoot into a yes. combat, apparently. That's very strange. Without it a is. minus as well. Without a minus, yeah. It's very strange. It's something that threw me because I don't believe that is something that has existed in previous editions of Sigma. But hey, look, I'm going to do it. And also, it allows me to fire my flamethrowers into combat. I see. And to be honest, actually, it's probably all right for the Saurus because it's just like, oh, that's nice. Now my blood's getting pumped up because they're cold-blooded. I see. Because they're lizards. Oh, that's nice. Nice right, surprise. so the Sunfire Throwers is for every model that is within eight inches or in the target unit on a five up, you take a mortal okay. wound instead of normal shooting and hitting. So there's no point doing all that defense or anything like that. So it will do nothing. Hiya! One mortal wound after all that. Sure. Well, the Meteoric Javelins. Annoyingly, I hit you three times with that. Uh, one wound, one wound. No, no minus. Five up. No. Okay. I killed two. Um, Fine. Disappointing, wasn't it? <laughs> The Venom Bolt from my Wizard Lizard, my Star Priest, not to be confused with the normal priest who is out of range <laughs> of his Star Bolt. So you've got a Venom Bolt, a Star Bolt. With a Star Stone a Staff and a Venom Staff and a yeah, Astro... Yeah. And a priest that isn't a priest and a priest that is a priest. Yes, but it's also... Very you know, simple, aren't we? But there is a T-Rex, which isn't technically a T-Rex, but... So, all right, okay. Slight tangent here, but you'll appreciate this. Yes. So back in the old world where the Lizard Men were originally from, Old Hammer, in Lustria, Dragons were in every continent, every country, every place, apart from Lustria where the lizard men were, because the Carnosaurs ate them all. Now just think about how a dragon with wings was hunted by a T-Rex. One, that is something that I want to see. But two, 
I mean, that's pretty scary. That's really cool. All right, all right. right I'm going to do the Venom staff now. Questionable fluff. Yeah, yeah the best fluff. Um, so it's two shots. Uh, they both hit because they're hitting on freeze. Uh, they both wound with a rend of one. Damage so, one. Two dead bliss Two bars. dead. Very yeah. good. I'm now going to do Noxious Spittle mm -hmm. at them as well from my troglodyte. D3 shots. Two this time. Yes. Freeze. Doesn't matter. Okay. And once again, missing with the spittle. Mm -hmm. Been foiled. Final bit of shooting, the Fustal of Conflagration, i.e. I pull out some weird arcane techno device and fire laser beams at you from my carnosaur. Like it's a dinosaur. I like to think of it, it is, it's actually, it's not worn by the, or carried by the Scarvet. It's actually the head plate. It's got laser beams. Oh, yes. Because dino riders. Oh, that's so cool. Am I right, Lawrence? Yes. Damn right. Okay, here we go. The full sort of conflagration. Oh, it's D6 mortal wounds. Why? The laser beam. It's four mortal wounds. Four the dinosaur dead. just roars at you and then laser beams fire out of his mouth. Ah. Laser cannon. Pew, 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 pew. It's charge time and we will kick off with the troglodon into your bliss barb. Oh, goodbye. Bliss barb archers. I mean, yes, just, just. because I am just within three. Um, but yes, okay, fine. Cool, I'm going to unleash hell with the Bliss Barb Archers behind. That makes sense. Well, I'll let you gather some dice. Shooty time. Mm. Um, minus one to hit because... Because you are firing... Yes. So I hit you twice. Okay. But I am still winning you on threes because I've still got the yes. one in that squad. Just the one minus one rend. Five up. No. no. I am within a range of a primeval domain. No, so I do take a wound that might degrade me, but we'll see. We'll move on to my next charge, which will be the Carnosaur into your Seekers. Okay. Again, yes, just. Why are you rolling so low? I, look, I'm saving my dice for, like, I get rid of all the ones and twos now. That's my thinking. So let me move him in. Stegadon. A seven, not what I wanted. I mean, I wanted an 11, but a yes. seven will go <sighs> into these demonettes. That is the end of the charge phase, which means it's now time to do monster phase. So first of all, the Stegodon does uh, D3 mortal wounds on a 3 plus to all enemy units within an inch after they charge. So if they charge multiple, that's, that's pretty cool. nifty. Yes. So it's D3 mortal wounds on those demonettes. It's that's two. two. Okay. Very good. So two of those are dead. We'll then go over to my Troglodon. The Troglodon is going to stomp. Stomp, stomp. So on a 2 plus, you take D3 mortal wounds. You do. You take... Two mortal Two. wounds. Very consistent. And then my Carnosaur is going to roar at your Seekers so wow. that they can't receive or issue command abilities. That doesn't yeah. go off. Fine. Okay. Um, the Stegodon doesn't have any other monstrous actions to do because it's got now the option of Titanic Jewel and you're not a monster yep. or smash up a bit of terrain, which is over there. I could be a monster if I wanted to be, Chef. No. We will begin with the Scar Veteran on Carnosaur. And we will begin with the Carnosaur themselves. So I've got two attacks based with my four limbs. Then I've got one extra attack because I'm under the star sign of the Great Drake. Yes. And then I've got another attack because it is a prime yes. war beast. So these are hitting on freeze, wounding on freeze, no rend, damage two. While I'm going to all out defense, I want my Seekers to live. I understand. Here we go. I hit you three times. Okay. Do I wound you once? Four up. Smash. Okay, well, the damage was two. Two, so that does kill one. And now the massive jaws. So I have three attacks yeah. base, plus one to my jaws for being coalesced, plus one for being under the star sign, mm -hmm. plus one for prime war beast. These would be hitting on fours, but they're hitting on threes because you are being pinned down, because I add one to hit rolls with my jaws if I'm targeting something with less than seven wounds or less. Mm -hmm. Less than seven wounds or less, yes. It'd be freeze to hit, freeze to wound, minus one, damage five. Yeah. Chomp, 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 chomp. I do miss twice. That is upsetting, but fine. It's still four hits. Yes. Freeze to wound you. It is three wounds at minus one. So I have a five up. That is five damage though. Five damage. Ouchies. So that's okay. Two and a half eaten. Um. Now, unfortunately, I do have to attack with my war spear now, which means I will take a mortal wound if I do any damage with it. Yay. Oh, this is why I wanted the T-Rex to a eat gift. it. Yeah. So I've got seven attacks here, hitting on freeze, winning on freeze, no rend, but damage two because of okay. the charge. I do drop a three. Fine. Freeze to it. Ooh. Mm. 
Sixes explode with this weapon, so... Okay. Fine, an extra hit there. Okay, uh, one, two wounds, no rend, but no two rend. damage. So four up. Mm. I do manage to kill the unit yes, only just. And you are going to take a mortal wound. But I do take a mortal wound, unless I... I'll just do it now, because I do have the six up ward save yes. from my prayer. Damn. Ah, unfortunately. Take that mortal. I will, and that gives you depravity, which is annoying. Demonettes. I've got mm. two into your Temple Guard, one into your Stegodon. Mm. So go to the Temple Guard first. I do hit you twice. Mm. One wound. Do no wound, eh? Uh, I do save it. Okay. And then into the Stegodon. One hit. Okay. One, one wound. wound. Uh, so uh, because there's only five models in that unit, I do get to use my shield crest against it, my Stegodon <gasps> head. Cool. Yeah, like moves towards ah. it, so I get plus one save. So I've yes. got a four up save here. I'm fine. Okay. The Saurus Warriors over here, I've got my pile in. Uh, we've got six of them in range now, one of which is the Champ. So we'll start with their Celestite Clubs. Okay. Uh, I hit you three times. I wound you three times at minus one. Minus one, so I have six ups. Uh, one Oops, damage so a pop. Uh, two are gone. Yes, because one was wounded. Yes. And now my Ferocious Jaws. Um, num, num. Fies. Fies? Fies? Fies. Fies to hit. One, two, three. Four. Okay. Fours to wound you. Uh, one wound, no rend here. Five up. Loves it. Okay, but I do oh. manage to kill two of your seekers. Sure. I'm going to fight with the archers next because why not? Why not? Um, why not? Yes, three attacks. Fours and fours. No? Okay. okay. Right. Okay. The Troglodon now is going to do all out attack on themselves because I kind of need to kill these Bliss Barbs. I understand, they're really scary. Well, it's more about the fact that they're giving you depravity and I don't want to have a whiffer and then you suddenly summon demons. Yes, I mean, you're I summoning demons anyway, but I don't want you to summon a big demon. Little demons are okay. They're fine, I can deal with little demons. Bless you, Endless Spell. Familiar. Familiar, I think, Familiar. is what we've settled on. Yeah. Yeah. But it's easier to... End endless Spell rolls off the tongue compared to Servo Skull. Endless Spell. Come on, guys. Right. Divining Rod. I've spoken. I don't know why you're arguing. I hit once. It's forced to wound. It's a wound. It's minus one. It's D3 damage. They're dead. Oh, okay. I didn't even get to munch on you with my dinosaur. I mean, do you want to, do you want to munch anyway? This, the priest just jumps down and goes, bonk. Do you want to just munch them? No, 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 no. Because that's just rolling dice for the sake of it. So, of course, I want to do <laughs> something. I'll do, I'll do the jaws. Right, just the jaws. I hit, you, I hit you twice. And then I wound you for... You do get a save here, weirdly. You munched him, crunched him. No. You munched one. Well, you took two damage Very and a good. mortal wound, so okay. they still would have died anyway. Yeah. But we'll say that he ate them instead. Yes. Rather nicer. than being hit Bunch. on the head by a stick. We'll go with the Seekers now. And because I did kill something in, my la in the last combat phase, I get plus one to mm. the attacks of all of my attacks. Um, I'm going to do all that defense here uh, from their champ because I could really do with not giving you depravity yes. points. So we'll go with the piercing claws. I've got 10 because I've still got the um, heart seeker for the extra attack in there. Cool. So threes and fours. Okay. Exploding sixes. So Ooh. I hit you all the times. Yep. Okay. And fours to wound you. Okay. That is four attacks. Minus one. So, so back to your normal Four up save. saves here. Ugh, triple six is required. Not a, oh, not a single six. Okay, so three no. dead. And Ouch. then the poison tongues. Not as good a roll this time. But, but I do get one XOD. So. And then threes. Just the one. Whip. No rent. Free up. Loves it. Okay. okay, so I do lose another three. Whistled. Actually. The Stegodon will attack because that's cool. Hmm. We will start with the horns hitting on threes. I hit you both times. Okay. Wounding on freeze. I wound you once. It's minus one, but it is Six four up. damage. I saw the gore! The gore! Uh, they're all gone? Yes. No, one, one remains. Left. So now my jaws and stomps mm -hmm. are all the same stats. So I'm just going to do them together. Freeze and freeze. That was a, that was really a very good roll. good roll. Freeze. Was that all fives and sixes? Yes, weirdly. Uh, that is what? Six minus one. I'm dead. It's not oh it's a good goodness. roll though. Uh, but that is the, like sure. eight damage. Yeah. Yeah. They are squished. Sure. Battle shock. Nothing yes. for those because they're dead. All those because they're dead. Leave me alone. But something over here. Yes. Um, 
So I have lost three models, which yep. means I could fail on a six. I'm fine. Okay. You can't fail. I can't fail, but I could bring some back. No, no reality, no blinking. And then depravity. Um, I got four, so mm. I got one down here, one here, and then one each for us mm. in combat down there, which yes. is very annoying that you did kill what you killed because two more and I could have gotten I needed to kill at keeper. least two of those three units, otherwise there was a keeper, which yes. was a big problem. Um, but I did what I did. Um, I don't think we mentioned it. This is the super one mm -hmm. in Rising Power this turn, so this is worth two um, yes. points over here in addition to that one over there, which is sticky. So annoyingly, I'm not holding more. I'm only holding two. Well, I'm holding three, but you're also holding three, three so, so I can't hold more. It's not how maths works. I wouldn't trust me on maths. No, maths is very from, hard. From but my if last you battle shot phase. Um, so I am getting two points set, and I do get two points for my battle tactic, but not the full five. It is your turn, however. Yes. And we'll have to see if you're going to spend your depravity to summon reinforcements or save it for a keeper of secrets in a later turn. It is my hero phase, mm. and my battle tactic for this turn will be death by a thousand cuts. Okay. So essentially, I need to wound your Stegodon with three different friendly units this turn. Okay. Yes. Okay. That's everything. That's okay, well, cool. Uh, I'm going to attempt to get another command point for my Exalted Chariot. Sure. No, <laughs> not this time. Sure. I'm going to try that with my Skink Priest down here. Yep. The Priest, not the Star Priest. The Priest... What is it with all these two? This is very strange. This is really weird. I don't like it. Hmm. Fine. So I've only got the one CP yeah. this turn. Okay. Same as these. Wait. Mm. I should have two. You should have two. Yes. You gain one because you're generally yes, still alive. Yes, I do. Yeah. So after that, I'm going to have a lie down and now I'm going to think about my powers. Okay. My magic. Mm. We're going to start with an arcane bolt. Okay. Down here from my seeker chariot. Well, that does go off. On a nine. Yeah, you can have that. Okay. I'll then cast Hysterical Frenzy. Uh, not Hysterical Frenzy, sorry. Lash of Slash from the... Okay. That does go off on a five. Okay. I will attempt to deny that with uh, my uh, Star Priest down okay. here because the uh, Oracle on the Troglodon can deny anywhere on the board. It's like a mini slam, but as a lizard a rather than slam. a frog. So a five, was it? Yes. Okay, no. fine. Goes so off. I'll keep that. Um, so that is a 12 inch line, mm -hmm. which I will draw. And we did do this pre measure it on hit camera. Both units. But I'll hit both units. Yeah. I think I'm only going over two models, though. Uh, yes. Yeah, you're, you're just catching the edge of this guard here and then the steg. Yes. So the steg on a hmm. four up. No. no. Fine. And the. Temple guard. Rorosaurus. The temple guard. Yes. Ward save. No, no, one of them takes a wound. One takes a wound. Annoying That's for depravity, but fine. fine. Yes. Um, and then finally, my last Seeker Chariot is going to attempt to cast Soul Slice Shards. Okay. Doesn't go off. Doesn't go off. Oh. That is a very big shame. In the movement phase now, and blah. And blah. These archers have run, they rolled a two, so they're coming nice and safe into this building. And the final Seek Chariot is just moving around. Ooh, ouch. And at the end of the movement phase, I'll be using my depravity points to bring on an extra exalted chariot. Shooting phase, and my bliss barb archers are going to do a nice little even split, five from five into each giant dino. Five and five. Yes, the high temptress is going to go into the Troglodon. Troglodon. Got it right. Yeah. So I've got the extra attack there. You're not minus one to hit? He's always He's minus always one to hit. Always minus one to hit. Always. Only two. Then. I made a huge difference. It, it really does. It's a really nice relic. It's silly that the cloak can but be put on a dinosaur. Twice. It's a majestic dinosaur ship. Rend one, right? Five up. Save one. Six up ward. Oh! Hey! I passed the ward save! Go me! No, I don't know why I have five feel. It makes me very sad. But no depravity. Into the carnosaur. Yes. No minuses here. Oh dear. That would have been a good roll anyway. Yeah. It would have been nice if I had it the other way around. Yeah. But, you, know. you didn't. No, I didn't. That mm. is five wounds. Okay. Ooh. Five up saves. Okay. Oh. Double six ward. No. no. So two That's more. Wounds. Six is gone. Is that? Oh yeah, we've knocked that. Yes. Apologies, it's been, everyone it's at been home. It's terrible. So sorry. 
into the charge phase. I'm going to start with the ex uh, the Bladebringer on Exalted Chariot down mm. here because in case I need to re-roll it. Sure. So I'm you do need to re-roll yes. it. So I'm spending mm. my command point. I understand. To re-roll. Mm. And it's a good job that I oh, did. Dear. I do my mortal wounds on the charge then. Mm. So on a one, nothing happens. On a two to a four, you suffer d3. On a five up, you suffer d6. No. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Ward saves. The jungle protects me. Two oh. times. Okay. okay, so three wounds. All right. The plan is working. No plan for you, please. The next exalted chariot will do the same thing. I will get in, so I'll just roll for my mortal wounds now. Stop it with your d6. Four, Four mortal wounds. Jungle protect me. Mm -hmm. No. The jungle does not protect. Okay. The Seeker Chariot will attempt to charge you mm. as well. Yes, that will okay. make it in. I'll just do the mortal wounds. On a two up, you just suffer d3. There's two more mortal wounds. Jungle save! No. no. I'm trying to invoke the power of beard here, but it didn't seem to work. Well, that's, you need to grow the beard first. Demon save! And the last Seeker Chariot now. An With eight. an eight, I'm going to decide where I'm going. Mm. Mortal wounds into the Temple Guard. I've managed to get into both the Temple Guard and the Carnosaur. Mm. So on a two up, you serve a D3. On the Temple Guard? Yes, just, just the one. one. Well, one is wounded. <laughs> wow. One is wounded. Jungle save! No, sad, sad times. Uh, okay, so that is the end of the charge phase, is it? Yes, that's it. Is. It is monstrous stomping phase. Oh no! So, what I'm going to do, because you are not long for this world, sadly, um, uh, you are going to stomp upon this Seeker Chariot That's here. Seeker Chariot. Yes. Stomping. Oh, shit. Okay. And then the Carnosaur is going to roar at the other Seeker Chariot. Ah! Yes, yes. so that Seeker Chariot can't receive or give command traits. That's fine. Command traits, command abilities. All right. We're at the start of the fight phase, so both of my Exalted Chariots need to do their pungent soul scent, mm. which is mortal wounds at the start of the fight phase. Mm. So the one on the right... On a two up, you suffer D3 mortal wounds. Okay. Yes. You suffer a mortal wound. Okay. Um, jungle save! No? no. Okay, I've got two wounds remaining. And then the other chariot. You do suffer two mortal wounds. I need to make both of these jungle... Well, one... Jungle saves! No, he's dead. <laughs> Punished no, there's G3. There's no even fight... There's not even any fighting. He's just dead. Just absolutely cut to ribbons. Horrible. My... You killed... Steggles the Stegodon. Don't do that to me, Chef. Maybe I'll Don't. call him Pebbles. Don't. You just killed Pebbles. Bam Bam needs revenge now. No. We're going to start then proper with the Seeker Chariot into Carnosaur. So I will start with my Flensing Whips mm -hmm. on threes. So That's three because yep. of the exploding. And then fours, I believe. Yes. So one at minus one. Minus one. So five ups. Okay, Just damage. one. Jungle save! Well, that's actually a blessed save, but never mind. Okay. Same, same principle. The piercing claws. Mm -hmm. Threes and fours. Okay, so, yeah. Just the one at minus one. Five up save. Okay. T-Rex save! And then, finally, my poison tongues. So, I hate yes. you all the time. Threes. Uh, two, no rend. Okay, so four ups here. Okay. Damage? Just one damage. Jungle save! No. No. I damage so you. I have Fine. taken some damage. I'm going to fight with my Saurus warriors over here. I'm, I'm going to all out defense. I understand. My clubs. I hit you twice. Okay. The clubs. Wounds you twice at minus one. Minus one. So back to my five ups. Kills one. Go through. Bites. Chomp, 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 chomp. Uh, only the one hit. Okay. Which does wound, no Ooh, rent. No rent, so four up. Okay, fine. so it does kill one, but very well. I have piled in now with the Seeker Chariot mm. into your Temple Guard. Yes. So I'll attack you down here. Okay. Starting with my Flensing Whips. Okay. Threes and fours, although with two exploding right. sixes, that's very nice. That is three wounds at minus one. Okay, mm -hmm. so five ups. Oh. Jungle save! No, okay, one takes wing. And the piercing claws. I hit you all the time. No, uh, yes, hit you all the time. So okay. Fours to wound you. Two 
two wounds. Okay. Uh, minus one. Uh, one goes through. No jungle save, so and one is dead. The poison tongue. Will you stop it? <laughs> Why is it that I always roll exploding sixes? Stop it. No, I dropped a dice. Force to wound you. These have no rend, so that is five. Okay, four up saves. Okay. I need to make one of these jungle saves, damn it. Okay, you killed two. Okay, well, so I'm quite happy with that. Go away, Ian. Sorry, Stormy Ian. Hurricane Ian, whatever it is. The Carnosaur <laughs> is going to attack your chariot. We've got yeah, the clawed forelimbs. I do hit you all of the, the times. The clawed forelimbs or the clawed forelimbs? Like forelimbs. I mean, he does have four limbs. Literally, he does. So that's where the confusion they're his is. his four limbs. Yeah. <laughs> He's not just like jumping up on his tail and back. He's a kangaroo. Oh, oh, right. <laughs> Flash to wound you. Uh, I wound you all of the times. No rend, but two damage. No rend, so four up saves. You did I take four kick. damage, so I got two wounds left. Okay, uh, I'm now going to bite your face off. <laughs> My face personally? Uh, I do hit you three times. Okay. Freeze to wound you. Uh, two go through, rend of one. He's Five up. Four damage, a pop, chomp I'm chomp. I'm dead. Nom, 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 We come to the Seekers. I did kill something in the last combat phase, so I still get my extra attacks. And the Heart Seeker's still there. So yes. she gets her extra attack. So hitting on threes. Stop it! No. Please! Nope. Fine. And fours to wound you. I'm not doing all that defense here. Oh, I probably should have done. Okay, so that is five wounds at minus one rent. Okay, jungle save. Uh, apparently, the, the 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 way of doing it was to do it okay. in a questionable way, yes. as, uh, as if it was a question. Um, fine. So. And then well. my poison tongue. Uh, hit you all the time because he exploded. What? You want me to not use my army roll? Yeah, please. Fine. Uh, that is four at no rend. See if it works again. Jungle save! <laughs> hey! You found the secret! The secret source. The temple guard have piled into your seeker. I must kill it. Yes, if you don't, I will get a sweet, sweet depravity point. Yes. Please. Mm. Uh, I am going to do all out attack on them from one of my varying characters or themselves. Not really sure. Doesn't really matter. We're going to start with Tracer Bites. Tra Tracer Bites. Tracer Jaws. Okay, so I'm hitting on fours here. Okay. Because of the tracer jaws. Very well. Like that. Yes. Um, fours to wound. No mortal wounds. No rend. So no rend. Three so bites. Four up. Okay. Two go three. Uh, just one. Just damage. one damage. Cool. So I'm uh, down to four wounds. The celestite pole arms. Uh, I do drop a couple. Uh, annoyingly, it would have been better to give myself exploding hits there, but no oh, well. mind. It be what it be. If I'd have if I'd have done it, I would have rolled like four twos. So. Uh, freeze to wound you. I'm looking for lots of sixes because they are mortal wounds in addition. Ooh. There's a six in there. Well, there's one six. Yes. Okay, that is uh, six saves at six. minus one so five and up. one mortal wound. She's dead. She is very dead. Well done. Good for me. Pat on the back. Shock. Hmm. Um, I can't fail, but why not? No. Reality does not blink. I could fail, but I don't. You're fine. Very okay. good. Okay. And then depravity. Yes. So I'm going to get uh, one, two, four. three, four. Yeah. Uh, because of all the various things, and I do get my battle tactic because I did wound your pebbles. Uh, with yes. three different things. You did. You yeah. did indeed. It's very yeah. sad. Um, and you are holding one, two, two. three. Four to my two. Two. Um, oh, goodbye. Oh, why? So why? you are getting yeah. the hold more. Yes. Very nice. But now, priority. Yes. Okay. I don't like to roll priority when there's two things that just do 85 mortal wounds on the charge. <laughs> oh, <it's> ah! <laughs> ah. <laughs> okay. I understand giving me the turn, though. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll consider it. Did take the priority. I, look, I understand. I, I, it's not what I would have done. And that's where we differ, Chef. Yeah. You're a dinosaur. 
I'm a head knight. We don't, we're not exactly friends. For my battle tactic, I'm picking conquer. And that is going to be, I'm going to try and get this objective down here back off of you, which in theory should be quite simple. You should simple. be able to do it. Yeah. Yes. Uh, that is that. I'm going to try and get an extra command point for mm -hmm. my general to use. Yes. yes. Um, I'm going to do heroic recovery on my Kalmasaur. I understand. Uh, yes. Yeah, so I heal D3, which is very nice. Okay. Hey up. <laughs> Just the one again. Oof. Oh, every time. Painful. Okay, fine. Right. I do have some magic to do, but I'm going to have a think. Magic. Mm. Uh, for what it's worth, my summoned chariot yes. has Born of Damnation, which is a Healy, which I can't do this turn. Sure. So instead, I'm going to cast Lash of Slanesh from my general. That goes off in a 10. I'm going to attempt to deny with my Troglodon because no I get plus one. Yeah. Yep, goes off. Nope. Uh, so we've already pre measured it. I'd go into the Temple Guard and I'd go across three of them. Yes. So that is three mortal wounds because it is on a, oh no, it's on a four up, so two mortal wounds. Jungle saves! Damn it, one's dead. Okay, and then I am going to cast Arcane Bolt, which I'm going to remember to use this turn yes. on the other one. It doesn't go off. Okay. Fine. I'm going to move my archers just outside of three of the Carnosaur mm -hmm. so that I can attempt to steal back the objective. And by attempt, I mean I will. This blade bringer can come round and be just oh. oh yep outside of three. Okay. Down here. I'm going to redeploy. So okay. Yeah. In that case, it's going to be hard to move her in a way to charge. So I'm just going to move forward. Row. In to the shooting phase now, and I'm going to issue all-out attack mm -hmm. from my exalted chariot onto the bliss bulb archers. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to be hitting you on threes and threes. Mm -hmm. Into your castle. I'm doing all-out defense. Understandably. So threes. That is... Impressive. Talked. I know I am very impressive. I was talking about the dice, but never mind. Well... Weirdly, only paid off once there. Interesting. But just a very really good well. roll, regardless. Three is to wound you, because I've still got the homunculus around. So that is three, <sighs> six, nine, twelve, thirteen. Minus one, but all out defense. So back so to your base save. Ooh, four up saves. Okay. Okay. That sure. is very painful. Yes. Oh, that was a terrible roll. Okay. Yes. We do still have bless up, but only past four there. <laughs> Can you please? Yay! At least okay, it was a that's, six. that's pretty good. So oh, I stood on a dice because I dropped them all over the I place. I do take five wounds. I uh, could have really done without mm. that, but uh, so be it. Charges then. Mm. That was quite successful. We'll start yes. with this chariot down here first. Yes, so I'm going to move into the temple guard, so I may as well just do my charge. Mortal wounds now. Yes. Only D3. So, this time. Yes, it is okay. only a D3. Yep, yeah, it is three. But I was rolling ridiculous. Jungle save! I do save one, so one is killed. Okay, fine. I will still attempt the charge with the exalted chariot into the castle. Okay. You're gonna use a CP reroll and roll it into a nine like you have done for the last three turns. Yes, I am. Yep. <laughs> oh it's a seven. <laughs> You're safe for now, <laughs> Chef. <laughs> With that, fight phase, pungent mm. soul scent into your temple guard. Yes. It does go off uh, D3. Mm -hmm. Two. The two. Jungle save! Damn it, oh. another one is dead. Okay, and I get to add one to my all, all of my attacks. I'm going to start with the Seekers because I don't think that you're going to kill my chariot. It would be quite difficult. Yes, but you could kill the Seekers. Well, I could kill one, In maybe. Theory. I want them to live. Understand. So I still get the extra attack because I did kill something in the last combat phase, so we'll go with the piercing claws first, and I need to add my extra attack on top of that because my stabby lady is still alive. Your stabby lady. Stabby lady. Three Good. Claws. Hey, look, all the of whiff my has begun. are running out. Kind of needed to happen at some I point. guess it did. No wounds. Good. Two, three, four, five, six on the poison tongues. Oh. To be... Right, okay. Old hammer players, you'll appreciate this. The horses, the steeds, they always do better than the riders. Horse to wound. So that is four no rent. Four up saves. Jungle, Jungle saves. saves. The unit is wiped. Okay, very well. They did quite well though. Yes. They held up that flank for some time. Yes. Was it worth it? Maybe not. Mm -hmm. 
Five of my uh, Temple Guard can make it in, one of which is not the champion, just because of coherency. So uh, here we go, normal attacks okay. with the pole arms. No bonuses to do here, but I am still getting sixes do mortal wounds. So if yes. I could do a little spike here. Ha! Okay, it's not bad. It is six wounds at minus one and a mortal wound in addition. So five ups. Oh. So five, six wounds go through. And now I will bite you to death. How many wounds does she have? Like 11. Ten. She's 10. She has 11. She's 11 because she's, she's my the... general. Gotcha. Oh, the bites. Nom, 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 the nom, dream nom. is alive if I roll four sixes to wound. <laughs> Top. Oh, it's two wounds and a mortal wound. No rent here. No rent. Four ups. Okay, Ooh, another two. two damage. So I'm down. Not dead. To two wounds. But, but certainly hurt. Ouchies. The chariot will strike you back, and I've got plus one to all my attacks because of doing the mortal wounds and stuff. So I'm going to start with the flensing whips. Okay. Three is to hit you. So I hit all the times. Nice. Fours. Three. Okay, so that is three at minus one. Minus one, so fives. Goodbye. Ooh. Okay. Jungle save. Saves one. Okay, so that's just one damage. Yes. So ten attacks with the piercing claws. Mm. Missed you once. Okay. Forced to wound. Yeah. Okay, it comes round, it comes round. Just the two, minus one. Minus one. Five ups. Jungle save! No, nope, one's dead. One is dead. And then I've got the poison tongues. Three and fours again. So I hit you one extra. Look. They hit on freeze, the, the, the steeds. Yeah. That's very upsetting yeah, they yeah. better than demonettes. They hit on four, uh, wound on fours. Okay. But no so rent. No here. rent here. So two, Five, four, six. Six. Four ups. Okay, it's pretty good, but I could do with passing double jungle. No. no. So another one is slain okay. and one is down to one wound remaining. Nice. Battle shock. Yes. I have lost mm -hmm. six this turn. Which means I don't care. Oh, very nice. Um, I can still roll it for my... You've not lost any Oh, no, turn, you don't. So you That's can't. the rule. Yeah. Okay, so with that being the case, mm. I'm getting three points uh, for my depravity points. Yes. Which puts me up at five, six, seven, eight. Eight, yeah. Which is a nice number. Mm. Please, can I have my dice, have Mr. Dice Chef? Um, I did get my battle tactic because I'm now holding... You did. ...that objective. Mm. And I'm holding one, two, three, four, five. Is yes, yes. I've got a lot of work to yes. do in my turn, um, but that's okay because I do have a healthy dino and Arr. another dino. Yes. Um, the Temple Guard have held up quite well, but like I say, I've got some work to do. It is my turn free. Hmm. Battle tactic will be... Conquer. I understand. We currently have two models each there, because but you still were holding more. Yes, for the, yes. For the because mission. this one counts as two. Yes. Um, so conquer on that objective. Let's take it back for the great plan. Mm -hmm. We then have heroic actions to do. Heroic recovery on my carnosaur. I do in, oh, just under my bravery, so I heal D three. Come on now. Two. two. It's better than it, one. It is better than one. I would have liked the three because yes. that would have put me on like my mid bracket, but mm. never mind. While it's we're fun. on heroic actions, I'm going to attempt to, to get a command point for my general. No. Yeah. So you've only got and one. That was secret. a depravity point dice. Well, Go away. Yeah. Um, the troglodon automatically heals uh, on a two plus. He does nice. for D three. He is fighting fit. He is a healthy, Chonker. chunky boy. I now have prayers and spells to do. Mm -hmm. We've only got the one prayer to do. There's no point doing his um, star stone staff because I can only do it on a, on a skink unit holly within 12. Would have been great on my troglodyte, but he's all the way over there. He's a skink! So I'm just going to do bless upon so my silly. carnosaur because he's going to be running off into the midst. It does go off with the plus one. Nice. Pray for carnosaur. Hashtag pray for T-Rex. <laughs> it's now, it's meow, it's, it's meow. meow. It's now magic time. Mystic shield from the yes. uh, star priest here, the lizard wizard, is going to go, he's going to do his staff on him. Okay. For the sixes do mortal wounds in addition, for a little bit of extra punch. Yes. And we're going to cast mystic shield upon him. Does go off on I five. I will attempt to deny it. Yes. With It is denied. denied. Fine. But now we go to my troglodon. He looks up at the skies 
and goes, you see those comets? And the comets go, hello there, troglodon. <laughs> and he goes, you see these demons? And they go, yes. And he goes, I don't, I don't want, want to, to anymore. <laughs> comets call. With a plus one, it does go off on an eight. I will attempt to deny it. Mm. No. Okay. So I call down D3 oh, comets. I hate the comet power. Comet power. It's only the one. Can you guess who it's going to go on? If you sent the two wound chariot, you'd be correct. Really? Interesting. D3 mortal wounds. She's obliterated by a oh. falling boom. <laughs> a worthy death. I mean, I mean, look, if you said, if you went back to the warp and, and Slanesh was like, what happened? It's like, I mean, a star landed on me. It's like, okay, that's yeah, pretty fair enough. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty cool. They had to call down a literal star to yeah. kill you. And you're like, yeah, I'm kind of a big deal. Yeah. With that, that frees up the uh, Temple Guard in my movement phase to walk ever so slightly forward, taking this back for conquerous victory and glory. The Skink, ever the bravest, will move around the corner here to ensure that Hold the Line is still uh, potential. Uh, yes. The Cloak of Feathers, with my 14-inch fly move, allows me to whoo, move over here, three inches away from everyone, which is very nice indeed. I'll redeploy my chariots. I understand. Oh, it's respectable. Goodbye. It is respectable. I am slightly slower with the Carnosaur, only an eight inch move, but I can run and charge because I have eaten something this game. So I will keep pace. The Apex is on the hunt. Finally, my priests are just going to move around the corner here so that they can shoot at the Bliss Barbs. We will begin the shooting phase with the priests. Yes. A uh, star bolt from the priest himself. Mm -hmm. Uh, I hear you both times. This is into the Bliss Barbs, yes. forgive me. Freeze to wound you. Uh, okay. Very well. The Venom Bolt from the Star Priest, the Lizard Wizard, Let. hits you twice. Double one. Wounds yeah. you once, wounds you twice at okay. minus one. Well, I don't get a save because reasons. The Noxious Spittle from the Troglodon into the Bliss Barbs. Okay. Uh, it's D3 shots. Oh, it's a big three. We've gone one better every turn. That's which good. is very nice for him. Uh, it is freeze to hit. <laughs> okay. Freeze to wound. Okay, I ever saw the one there. Uh, no rent. Six up. No two one damage. One. Two damage, so two more go. Uh, and I can reroll charges against them now because I'm drawn to their screams, which is absolutely horrible. Dino laser beam! Oh. The fusel of conflagration from my Carnosaur yes. into your Labouring on Exalted Seeker Chariot. I understand. Not a mouthful at all. No, that's why I don't say the whole uh, name. It doesn't work this turn, but it is still active. Okay. Because it only goes off on a full pass. That is my shooting phase done. Let's do some charges. The troglodon will begin proceedings in the charge phase. An eight. Okay. Hmm, let me just do a measure. The troglodon did not have enough movement to go into the uh, chariot, so carnosaur time it is. I will spend a CP yes. to re-roll that. Oh, gosh. Okay, yes. fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> End of the charge phase, stroke beginning of the fight phase. We'll do all of our mortal wound stuff first. The Carnosaur will stomp you. Yes, you take D3. It's take the three. big three. Okay, that's fine. Um, I'm going to wound you. The Whirling Dervish. Mortal wounds. Oh. Yes. D3. Okay. Just, Just the one. one. Okay, so I, you've not degraded me. That's okay. good. Hashtag pray for T-Rex. Damn. No. Okay, um, I am going to attack with the Carnosaur, and okay. I did forget to activate my Beastmaster ability in the Hero Phase, never mind, um, but let me just total up my attacks, because I am still slightly degraded. Carnosaur time. Yes, but first of all, I didn't forget. Yes. Um, so each time, as part of my Invaders host, each time one of my generals is slain for the first time, I get a command point, mm. which would have infected, effect, been affected when the... Um, because I killed the Seekers, the, the, the Seeker two, Chariots the two seekers, died. Yeah. Um, I could have potentially done all out defense, but I also then would have lost them at the end of last turn, so. Yeah, it's, there's a lot going on there's with the various There's a million rules yeah, with yeah, this. Yeah, so the, the Sigma is great in its simplicity in terms of the core rules, but there's a lot of meat in the army rules, so yeah. Sorry. Things will slip by, apologies. But you know what is gonna happen? I'm gonna chomp down on you with a T-Rex. I'm going to do my clawed forelimbs. I'm hitting on fours You're not going to fight with the troglodon first? Nope. Oh. Ow. Well, I hit you just the twice with the okay. forelimbs. Uh, I wound you no time. Okay. Okay. You used to do the kangaroo attack, that's why. Yeah, I know, right? Chomp time. Freeze to hit... Ah, oh, no, it's fours it? to hit you because you are less than bueno. That's fine. Um, yeah. Okay. 
Should have done my exploding sixes. <laughs> Never mind. Right. Freeze to wound you. Weirdly, no mortal wounds there, but free wounds at minus one. Minus These one. are free damage a pot because Why I am not? degraded. Two go through, so I've taken nine damage, which means I still have two wounds remaining. Now it is time to stab you with my spear then. Oh no. It is two damage on the charge. I hit you, yes, four times. A double six will kill you though, because that will be mortal wounds. Ooh, it's only two wounds. No rend, but these are two damage a pop. She's fine. She's alive. <laughs> okay. Oh no! <laughs> Got three attacks with the Seekers. Okay. Uh, minus one to hit you, so I don't hit you at all. Right, well we'll go straight into the <laughs> troglodon then. We'll start with the Tracer Divining Rod from the Priest atop. Okay. I miss you both touch. Sure. The clawed four limbs. I hit you once. Mm -hmm. I wound you once. Rend. Uh, rend of zero, damage two. Kills two. 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 <laughs> and now the venomous jaws. Four attacks here, hitting on fours. I hit you three times. Mm -hmm. Wounding on twos. Yes. Uh, okay, that's one, two, three wounds with a rend of two. And because of the, my venomous spittle, uh, sixes do a mortal wound in addition. So that's so, two dead and then three six up saves. These are two damage a pop. So two, they're dead. <laughs> well, it's time for my blade bringer on Exalted Chariot. I mm -hmm. do get my plus one attack because yeah. I did the mortal wound shenanigans. Please. We'll start with the flensing whips. I'm doing all out defense. Please don't kill me. Hashtag pray for T-Rex. Well, I miss you once because of my exploding sixes. Yeah, okay. Plus two wounds you. That is three wounds at minus one. So four up saves. Bless save. No, two damage. Okay. And then the piercing claws. Okay. Uh, so that's... Okay. That I'll leave the two in there for the exploding six. Yeah. Fours to hit you. Point wound you, sorry. Okay. That is three at minus one. Four up saves. Okay. Blast save. No. I've got four wounds remaining. And the poison tongues. Okay. It's very nerve wracking now. I hit you all the time because of the exploding six. Lost to Luigi. Okay. Mm. No rend here. But okay. That that's is something. Five, uh, five wounds. Five wounds. So three up saves here. Hashtag pray for T Rex. Battle shock phase. Weirdly, no battle no. shock to do, but you do get depravity. I do. So I've got two points, which does put me up at 11. Not quite enough for a keeper. I'm dodging that keeper yep. so, so closely every time. Um, because I used my spear, I do take a mortal wound at the end of the battle round for your horrible gift of nastiness. Yes. Hashtag pray for T-Rex. No, no, I do take a wound. I'm heavily wounded. Oh, three wounds left? Three wounds left. Ooh, okay. Well, it's the priority turn. You, well, you got your battle tactic, first of all. I did get Conquer, yes. which is nice, um, and I'm holding two because this is the double, which is very annoying. So I'm a couple of points behind you. Warm up my dice. It's priority roll off time. Would you like to roll first? Would you like me to roll first? I'll roll. Okay. You will get it because you got the yes. you got it turned. Even, so a draw, even with a draw, well, I get priority. Okay. Um, that is a problem for me. Yes, yes it is. My priority, a mm. couple of things to mention. So this is the objective that counts as two. Yep, it's, so that's I the two So I need to kill you. Mm. Um, my battle tactic is slay the warlord because I'm fairly confident in theory I should be doing that. <laughs> and it is my general's finest hour. It's also my general's finest hour. So fine that he's falling off of his steed. He's so excited for the fight. Yeah. I have one spell. Okay. Lash of Slash. Does go off on a five? Does go off on a five? Okay. I'm going to attempt to deny you with my troglodon. Uh, with a plus one. You I do say deny no. it. Now that's fine. Do you know what? Fine. Is it fine? It is. You sure? Everything's fine. Okay. I'm going to move now. I rolled a six on the run for these seekers. So they got a 20 inch move, which is just obscene. So they're coming as close as they can I'm to your lizard boys. going to redeploy. No, you're not. Yes, I am. I mean, I'm not really. 
And I will be summoning in another Exalted Chariot, taking me down to two Depravity points. Um, for what it's worth, her spell is going to be Soul Slice Shards. Well, you've killed all of my shooties. Good. So it's straight into the charge, and I'm going to start with the newly brought in Exalted Chariot. Yep. Okay. Reroll it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> fine. The Seekers will give it a go. Mm. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. I'll just move those in. <sighs> Pungent soul scent. Mm. Can I kill? Could you roll a one? It does go off. D3. Okay. It is the big three. You do if you're safe. Hashtag pray for T-Rex. Oh. <gasps> okay, he's taking a wound. He is very, very hurt. He's got two wounds he's got left. got two wounds left thanks to being a thunder lizard. <sighs> I'm going to stomp you now. No. Because technically this would have happened first, actually, because it's the end okay. of the charge. Because you've got two wounds left. It does go off. It's D3. I'm not looking. It's the big oh, three. no. Oh. oh, that's devastating. That is healed. Fine, then we'll go with the Seekers. Okay. Um, I'm going to. I got a command point for my general dying. I yes. remembered it now, and I'm going to use it for all after attack. I understand. No plus one attack this time. Okay. But I am hitting you on twos because of all that attack. Okay. Right. Okay. Force to wound. I'm all out defensing. Yes. Obviously. That is four wounds minus one. Oh, sorry. Four wounds minus one, is it? Yes. Okay. Two go through. No jungle save this time because okay. I'm not within an inch. So one's dead, one's down to one. Okay. And then the poison tongues. I hit you all the time. Mm -hmm. One more. No rent. Okay. Right, kills another. Okay. I need to kill at least one of these, otherwise yes. it's contested, which isn't that bad. So let me just do their attacks straight mm -hmm. up now. So I do have the champ still in there, so that is five attacks with my pole arms. I, okay, I do hit you. They don't have like minuses to hit. No, 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 no. That's fiends. Wrong. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. It's fiends. Uh, it's two wounds at minus one. Minus one, so six ups. I do. Oh, don't kill a one. So it's so time one to. Damage? Yeah, just one. Time to bite your face off with my jaws. No hits. Fine. Okay. Well, battle shot. Meh, I get two depravity points yeah. because of this weird little combat in the middle that's now happening. Yeah. Um, and that's that. I don't get my battle tactic because you, I kind of forgot stomp was. I thing. forgot stomp as well. And we were talking about this off camera. Yeah. What you would have realistically done then, um, if we're all doing it properly. Mm. But we're still learning, guys. All right. Cut oh, some slack, please. <laughs> um, you would have fallen back. Yes. Um, and then you would have just summoned this one in place. As it was, you failed the charge anyway. anyway so it wouldn't have made too much difference. No. I would have had an extra asset on the yeah. table for you to have to deal with that. Yeah, turn. you would have been blocking but off. But then I would have it's... gone for Slay the Warlord on your thing with two Warlords when I can summon yeah. Comets. So it's much of a muchness. Much of a muchness. Um, I'm still getting, um, I'm still holding yes. two objectives to your two because this one in the middle is contested. Yeah, it's contested. Which is quite nice. But now we go into your turn. My turn four. Turn four, battle tactic will be Ooh. break their spirits. So an enemy unit that's in the starting uh, starting model, starting unit. Starting force. Yes. Um, <laughs> I must kill them. Kill so the no, Seekers. I'm going to try and do so. I'm then going to do heroic recovery upon my Scarvets. Uh, it does go off. Do I heal more than two wounds? No, well, I heal two. Okay, fine. So. I'm going to attempt to get an extra command point for my hero to use. It does go off because my yes. general's no longer on the field, so I'll just pop that behind her there so we okay. remember. Okay. Um, we've then got some abilities and whatnot to do. I just need to do some measuring of ranges, so BRB. Okay, none of my priest's prayers are in range, so there's nothing to do there. Mm -hmm. The star priest, um, I'm going to remember to do my astral foresight. No. Okay. Still don't get a CP. He's not very. He's too busy looking at comets to yeet down. Yes. I'm going to stay in the Great Drake constellation, in case you couldn't tell. I'm going to activate the Beastmaster because I forgot to do sure. it after. Um, so now all of his T Rex gets another plus one attack. So he's got all of the attacks yes. for this turn. And then we're going to do some spells. The Star Priest is going to. This, he doesn't. He's not in range to do any of his <laughs> staffs or whatever. So we're just going to cast an Arcane Bolt. We are on a five. Oh, that's fine. You can have it. I think it's cast on a five. I'll check later. More importantly, we're going to call down some comments. With a plus one, that's on a nine. I will attempt to deny it. No. no. 
D3, so two, so the two units on the yes. board, on the Seekers. It's one mortal wound. Okay, I so kill that kills one. the one. One, one, this is like a little fragment. Yes. And then on your chariot, two. Okay. Okay. The comets have been called, and the things have been healed, and the dinos are angry, and let's do some moving. The two priests, priest gang, moving around here so that they can shoot at the seeker. Carnosaur running, thanks to Blood Frenzy, can still charge. Only rolled a one, but it's enough to park him here. I'm going to redeploy my I chariot. I understand. Ooh, okay. Speed Goodbye. Lady. I don't know where a tape measure is. I've I'm got gonna... one. Well, so do I now. Ah, do you have one at home? Troglodon with the fly is just moving around to here, three inches away from your redeploy and um, saying hello to the Carnosaur. And he's like, hey. Shooting the star bolt from the priest. Hits you once. Wound you once. This is on the Seekers? On the Seeker. Uh, rend of one, damage one. Loves right. it. The Venom Bolt, same target. Hit you once. Wound you once, minus one, damage one. One damage, so you are slightly wounded. Yes. Fine. Scar Veteran turns his T-Rex to fire mm. laser beams towards your chariot with the full sort of conflagration. Uh, it doesn't do anything again. Okay. Disappointing. We'll go over to the Troglodon then, and they are going to uh, spit horrible nasty venom at your chariot. Leave my chariot alone! No. D3 shots, it's just the two. Freeze to hit, they both hit. Freeze to wound, uh, it's one wound, no rend, but two damage. Alright. Okay, two damage. two damage. And now I can reroll charges against it, which is kind of cool. Carnosaur, charge time into the Seekers. I need a six. And an eight is what I get. Oh. Whilst we're here, we'll do the troglodon into your chariot. chariot. <sighs> that will be in. Yes. It's dino time. Ow. End of the charge phase. It's stomp time with the T-Rex on a two plus. Yes, that's D3 mortal wounds. The Seekers are yes. squished. Goodbye. And then we're also going to roar with the troglodon at your chariot to do, say no command abilities. I get to do my pugent, pugent, pungent, soul scent. Pugent. pugent. It does yeah. go off D three mortals. Just, Just one. the one. Uh, no jungle save for me. Okay. So you are I have, depravity point. I've wounded myself uh, by stepping onto your your blade. It's very painful. Um, he's the only fight, so let's do him. Sure. Trace a divining rod. Um, because this will be the end of the thing, I'll give myself plus one to hit. All I, out of time. I'll give myself. Oh no, wait. I went rar, and you went. It, ah. <laughs> yes. I hit you once with my stick of power. I do wound you, it's minus one D3 damage. Five up. Nearly D3 damage. It's just, just the one. The one my clawed forelimbs, of which I have two. That's very confusing. Isn't it? Yes, uh, I do wound you, no rend, but damage two. two Fine. Damage. You got one wound left, is it? Um, well, I've taken seven, oh, so you've taken I've got seven, three, three wounds left. left. And then my venomous jaws. I hit you all of the time, no. thanks to the plus one. Uh, twos to wound you, sixes do mortal wounds in addition. Okay, these are no rend, damage two. If you save Perhaps. all of these, you will live. Oh, you're, you've so been dead. chomped and bitten and smashed and Goodbye. mocked. Well, that's the turn, and now it's time for the all-important priority roll. Look, I mean, priority roll could be quite important here. Mm. Okay, so, okay. so I will sure. take the turn, <laughs> and what that means is it effectively would deny you two more victory yes. points. Because effectively now what would happen is, I've got the grand strategy guys, because I've got battle line left And alive. I don't. You have no battle line, so you no have no So no grand arm. strategy for me. No, I don't. Your strategy was yes. sound, but not that grand. Unfortunately, I ended your turn on five depravity points, which yes. is one shy of summoning anything. Yeah. Because if I'd had one more, I could have bought on, I could have bought on five seekers. Yeah. Which I mean, could have just been cool. like, Bleh. Yeah. Just like act, act as a block. Yeah. Because yeah. what I'm going to do now with this turn, I mean. You're uh, just going to move on I'm to I'm a few objectives. points behind anyway, but I've got the grand strategy. It doesn't matter which one of these is going to be the double because I'm holding these because of sticky. And you'll hold I'm holding this one because of, of sticky and I'm going to move there and move here to take those. So I'm mm. going to have the whole board for the max points there. Weirdly, I can't do any battle tactics because there's nothing for me to interact with. You should have just left me alone. I you should have done scored really. more points. I should have done that. That was a mistake, yes. really, wasn't it? Shame um, on you. But uh, that's your tournament mindset. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, so that will that will end the game mm. on seventeen to like 23, 24, yes. something like that. Yeah. Well played. That was a very fun well game. Well played indeed. Yes. Um, 
Dinosaurs. <laughs> um, head, head and Knights? I anyway, can't really. The Head and Knights are really saying. interesting. They're very they? interesting. I took the Seekers this time instead mm -hmm. of Fiends because I wanted to do something a bit different. And the Seekers are fun. They're really fast. Yeah. They just don't have the same punching or staying power as Fiends do. It's, yeah, the Fiends just with the, the Sixes do D3 damage mm. and then like the tail do... Like the, yeah, it's the a extra unit damage. of three Fiends into yeah. a dinosaur is just going to do horrible work. Minus one work. to hit. Minus one to hit. It just means they're surviving more much wins. longer. Yes, four yeah, wounds four rather wounds. than two. Yeah, so um, they've got m more wounds in a smaller block, and they're they're a really good unit. I love the chariots. The chariots. The are exalted so chariots good. are amazing. They do um, so much work. Yeah. Like yeah. just bringing them on as well. It's just like because it's I like should, if yeah. I if you're making those nine inch charges and you did half of the time. Yes. Uh, it's <laughs> just like oh, yeah, there's so rolled, many but... mortal wounds. Like everything's just getting cut to mm -hmm. ribbons. Um, I did get very lucky with a few clutch ward saves. And at I times. whiffed in some yeah. really bad places. Yeah. Um, and I got uh, a, the Troglodon did really yes. well this game. Uh, a couple of times where I've used it um, in practice games, he's just kind of yep. done nothing. Um, but who doesn't love a giant Spinosaur that casts um, magic and mm -hmm. brings down venomous comets and all that kind of nonsense? It's, yeah. It's Sigma. It's, yeah. it's great. Um, I like the little priests, they're, they're good little stand ins for the uh, the slant and the temple guard just do what temple guard do they go we're a wall yeah they and they help and me we, up. i mean they're will, still alive the, the fact that they're still alive is very with surprising. everything i put into them yeah yeah um the head of knights are very interesting i know that they're yes. in a bit of a tough spot in terms of um their play style mm. they just have a very you have to play them very specifically from what yeah. i've kind of my understanding of it is um to be able to generate the depravity points you need the right list to be able to do that you need to be able to bring things on at the right time and it's quite complicated yeah yeah the, the um, lurid haze is really interesting yeah the, the, anything with a redeploy yes is is always great and it's kind of better than a redeploy mm. because it's if you're going first you can use it offensively to come on yeah. it can I, force your I opponent i quite to... liked it this time because it made me it kept my archer safe turn one and then i could kind of push them up a bit further to get them in range of what i wanted yeah. to and having the the seekers well they just down stop, there because I, yeah. I i stopped you from being able to move down onto that objective yeah. for the whole Game. Yeah, I mean, I could have, I could have been retreating. You could have been with the warriors, but, but then you're point, just, you're just chasing um, me anyway. Yes. Um, so it's sort of kind of neither here nor there. So I was happy to kind of leave them there. Yeah. Um, yeah. Look, dinosaurs. They, 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 dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. Uh, yeah. They win our hearts and they win the day. They did win the day today. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm. I love Sigma. It's, it's so fun. I, it's just so much fun. I hope you guys are having <laughs> yeah, as much fun as we are. Really enjoying um, it. We do have some more armies in the mm. pipeline, um, but uh, you know, for more variety, we do have, of course, games on on demand. So check out those over there. But I have now more to say other than once again, dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. Yes. I've been chef. She's been Jinx, <laughs> Spider has been our familiar today, you have been bosses, and we'll see you next time. Bye! I'll have a think. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> cut. <laughs>